President and Mrs. Della Madrid, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, it's been our pleasure to have you as our guests this evening. Being here with so many friends from Mexico, I can't help but take my thoughts back to California. Tonight is reminiscent of the gala evenings in old California, the vineyards, the music, the pride and accomplishments of the Hispanic frontier men and women, individuals who conquered a wilderness but while doing so maintained a phenomenal level of dignity. All of this and more reflects the character of a people whose legacy is now shared by the citizens of our two countries. I'm not certain it goes back as far as the Hacienda days, but I would like to extend to you a traditional greeting that I've adopted as my own just as I adopted California. President and Mrs. Della Madrid, mi casa es su casa. <laughs> Today we've had frank and fulfilling discussions. Mr. President, I hope you agree with me that although we do not see eye to eye on everything, it is clear that we as individuals and our two nations as well remain solid in our friendship and undeterred in our trust. The goodwill between us goes far beyond the transitory issues of the day. Our people recognize that issues, even those that seem important to the moment, will someday pass from the scene. What will not change are the many gifts and mandates given to us by God that serve as the basis of our societies. I can't believe that the Lord brought us to this level of political, social, and economic development that he located us, the Mexican Amer and American people, in such proximity and did not intend us to be friends. In the last 50 years, when people of bordering countries in so many parts of the world were killing each other or were immersed in envy and hatred, the mutual respect and ever-increasing cooperation between our peoples and governments shined in contrast. Our trade and commerce is a powerful engine for economic progress for both our countries. The cultural and social ties between our people enrich and add diversity and flavor to our everyday lives. Yet the cement with the strongest grip is found in the ideals and values that our people share. President Thomas Jefferson, a man so important to the development of human liberty, outlined in his first inaugural address some of the aspirations of our new republic. Although spoken 183 years ago, the words still ring true. Our desire in foreign affairs, he said, was equal and exact justice to all men or whatever state or persuasion, religious or political, peace, commerce, and honest friendship with all nations. I heard an echo of these sentiments last August in La Paz when you, Mr. President, said nationalism, cultural identity, freedom, democracy, economic development with social justice, an independent foreign policy, and defense of our territorial integrity are shared values embodied in our national design and vital bonds that link us all. Mr. President, if we can be guided by these principles, with our shared values and interests overshadowing momentary disagreements, surely the goodwill between us will endure and our relationship will continue to shine as an example to others. And now, will all of you join me in a toast to our honored guests, to President and Mrs. Della Madrid, to their health and to the continued goodwill between our two great nations. Señor Presidente Reagan, señora Reagan, sean mis primeras palabras para agradecer la fina 
cordialidad que hemos recibido en nuestra visita a Washington el día de hoy. President Reagan, Mrs. Reagan, may my first words be to express my gratitude for the kind courtesies that we have received during our visit to Washington this today. Tanto en nuestras reuniones de trabajo como en este amable evento de este momento, hemos recibido pruebas de una amistad afectuosa, cordial, que mucho estimamos mi señora y mis acompañantes. Both during our work meetings and today during this din dinner, we have seen proofs of affectionate and cordial friendship that both my wife, mm. myself, and the members of, the par of my party appreciate very much. Este tipo de diálogos son siempre fructíferos. Nos permiten comparar nuestros análisis, nuestra percepción de la realidad y conocernos mejor a través de verificar coincidencias, acuerdos y también diferencias. This kind of a dialogue is also always fruitful. It makes it possible for us to compare our analysis and evaluation, our perceptions of reality, to uh, agree on our similarities and also to know our differences. La geografía nos ha influido mutuamente y nos ha determinado a relacionarnos. Nos ha aconsejado no solamente ser vecinos, que es una fatalidad geográfica, sino a ser amigos, que es una cualidad que deriva de la voluntad y del entendimiento. Geography has influenced both of us. It has led us to be neighbors and it has led us to be friends. Uh, neighbors we are because geography is as it is, but friends uh, is something that comes from our own self. It is a quality of the human being. Los amigos siempre buscan ampliar áreas de consenso y reducir diferencias. Friends always seek to extend areas of consensus and to make their differences smaller. A buscar fórmulas de superación a los problemas de nuestra estrecha, compleja y amplia relación. To seek formulas to overcome the problems that come from our close, complex and very broad relationship. La amistad supone todo esto, sinceridad y franqueza, dignidad y respeto en el trato, cotejo sereno de nuestras discrepancias, pero sobre todo, buena voluntad. Friendship presupposes all of this. Uh, there must be sincerity and frank frankness, dignity and respect in our dealings, uh, careful examination of our discrepancies, and above all, it demands goodwill. Las diferencias de opinión son naturales y explicables entre los seres humanos. Son explicables entre nosotros mismos. Differences of opinion are natural and can be explained uh, among human beings. They can be explained among us. En el caso de la amistad de Estados Unidos y México, aunque tenemos raíces comunes en nuestra formación cultural y aunque hemos tenido caminos análogos en nuestro trayecto histórico, nuestra mixtura racial, cultural, nos ha dado una diferente percepción de la realidad y una diferente sens sensitividad, diferencia que por otra parte enriquece al género humano y evita la uniformidad que no es el valor que estimamos los hombres libres. Even though Mexico and the United States have often traveled the same road, even though they stem, they stem from some, uh, the same roots, uh, there are differences in our culture. And these differences have made us, uh, our sensibilities also different. Uh, it has come to enrich uh, the human race uh, because it is variation which is needed for this enrichment. It is not good for everyone to be just the same. De esta manera, los norteamericanos y los mexicanos nos encontramos ahora frente a frente con una rica y fuerte personalidad nacional y cultural. 
In this way, Americans and Mexicans find themselves face to face with a rich culture and a rich and profound perception of our nationalities. Pero no solamente hay diferencias, no solamente hay contrastes entre nosotros. Las analogías, los parecidos, también son evidentes. But there are not only differences uh, among us uh, or between us, analogies are also evident. Nuestras dos naciones han fincado su sistema político y social con la aspiración de vivir en libertad, construir permanentemente la democracia y buscar la igualdad de oportunidades para todos sus integrantes. Both nations have rooted their political and social systems in the aspiration to live in freedom, to permanently build democracy, and to seek the equality of opportunity for all. Ambas naciones postulamos el respeto al derecho y la justicia como norma de una convivencia pacífica y digna. Both nations postulate respect for law and justice as a norm for peaceful and dignified coexistence. Y lo que también hace parecidas a nuestras naciones, señor presidente, es que no somos sociedades congeladas o estancadas. Somos sociedades abiertas al cambio. And that which makes uh, our two countries similar, Mr. President, is that we are not societies that, that are frozen and opposed to change. We are societies that are open to change. Los que amamos la libertad debemos estar abiertos al cambio. We who love freedom must be open to change. No podemos congelar el espíritu humano. We cannot freeze the human spirit. Y por eso también estamos obligados a ser tolerantes. And it is for this reason that we are also obliged to be tolerant. Señor Presidente Reagan, nuestras conversaciones han sido dignas y cordiales. President Reagan, our conversations have been honorable and cordial. Están reflejando un propósito común. They reflect our common purpose. Ampliar acuerdos y reducir discrepancias. To extend the areas in which we agree and to reduce our differences. Pero el camino es largo. But the road to travel is a long one. El camino de la vida de los individuos es limitado pero el de las naciones no tiene horizonte histórico. The life of individuals has a limit, but the life of nations does not have a historical horizon. Lo importante es que en esta reunión hemos renovado la voluntad política de seguir recorriendo este camino como naciones y como individuos con empeño y con buena fe. The important thing about this meeting is that we have renewed our will to continue to travel that road as individuals and as nations that are living in good faith. Como decía yo a mediodía, en uh, la comida amable que me ofreció el secretario Schultz, sabemos los mexicanos que ustedes desean vecinos libres, dignos y fuertes. As I said before, during the luncheon that was kindly offered me by Secretary Schultz, we know that you want to have a dignified, a prosperous, and strong neighbors. Es importante que una potencia mundial que ha alcanzado un poderío sin precedente en la historia del mundo pueda decirle a las demás naciones, tenemos vecinos dignos, no esclavos. It is very important that a, a powerful nation such as the United States, uh, which has been the, is the most powerful nation of all, can say to the other countries, we have neighbors who are dignified, they are not slaves. Hago pues, señor Presidente Reagan, votos porque este trato amistuo, amistoso, respetuoso y digno que hemos construido los mexicanos y los norteamericanos a través de nuestra historia sea la tónica de nuestra relación. I therefore, President Reagan, express my, my hope uh, that this relationship uh, with dignity and cordiality that has been built by the Americans and the Mexicans will always be the common denominator of our relationship. Que sigamos siendo capaces para desarrollar talento y voluntad y seguir fortaleciendo de esta manera nuestra amistad en beneficio recíproco de nuestros pueblos. That we shall always be capable with talent and goodwill to continue to strengthen our friendship to our mutual benefit. Este es el pensamiento y la voluntad del pueblo de México 
y estoy seguro que la misma actitud existe en los Estados Unidos. This is the thinking and the will of the Mexican people, and I am certain that there is a, this same thinking and the same will in the United States. Por ello expreso mis mejores votos y mi seguridad de que las relaciones entre México y Estados Unidos se mantendrán vigorosas porque se fortalecerá nuestra voluntad de entendimiento, porque nuestra amistad se seguirá estrechando y propongo a ustedes levantar nuestra copa para brindar por la felicidad personal del señor presidente Reagan y de su encantadora esposa Nancy, por la felicidad y por la prosperidad del gran pueblo de los Estados Unidos y por los valores en los que creemos conjuntamente, libertad, democracia y justicia. That is why I express my wishes that the relations between Mexico and the United States will always be vigorous, that they may be strengthened by our will to understanding and because friendship and cooperation is what will bring us together. I wish to ask you to join me in a toast uh, to the personal happiness of, uh, the, of President Reagan and his charming wife, Nancy, to the happiness and prosperity of the American people, and to those values which we cherish, which are freedom, democracy, and justice. All I know is how I feel When it's real, I keep it alive The road is long There are mountains in our way But we climb a step every day Love left us up where we belong Where the eagles cry What a mountain high Love left us up where we belong Far from the world we know Where the clear winds blow Some hang on to used to be Live their lives Looking behind All we have Is here and now All our life Out there to find The road Is long There are mountains In our way But we climb a step every day Love left us up where we belong Where the eagles cry on a mountain high Love left us up where we belong Far from the world we know Where the clear winds blow, time goes by, there's no time to cry, life's you and I, alive today, love left us up where we belong, where the eagles cry, what a mountain high. Love left us up where we belong Far from the world we know Where the clear winds blow Lift us up where we belong Where we belong Where we belong 
as often as I should have. Maybe I didn't treat you quite as good as I should have. If I made you feel second base, Well, I'm sorry I was blind But you were always on my mind You were always on my mind Maybe I didn't hold you All those lonely, lonely times I guess I never told you I'm so happy that you're mine Little things I should have said and done I just never took the time But you were always on my mind 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 You were always on my mind. Thank you. Would you thank my friend Tom Shell at the piano? That was so pretty. Good evening. for entertaining us magnificently tonight. You know, she does more than sing. She's an accomplished actress. She writes songs. She has a sense and a spirit of community and does good things in that direction, too. And we're just so very grateful. So, muchas gracias. <laughs> <laughs> I have to tell you, she does do good things. I heard her at a public kind of a thing the first time I'd ever heard her sing, and she was doing the national anthem. And I said to Nancy afterward, that's the first time I ever really heard the song. <laughs>